What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be discussing my three top places to buy and pick up Platinum. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay everyone, so Today's topic is going to be on my top three places I like to pick up platinum. I get this question so much on my channel that I decided to make a video talking about it. I'm going to give you three different places to pick it up and I'm going to discuss why I like them and why they are different. So first on our list is going to be Appmex. Now Appmex has been known for its high premiums, but it's also known for its extremely unique variety of pieces you can get from Atmex, and that holds true. There is no better place for variety of platinum than Atmex. They constantly are adding new pieces to their overall uh, items they have for sale, and in my experience, they seem to have the most platinum of any other platinum or precious metals bullion dealer. Now, I like them for variety. I like them because I can find unique pieces that I can't find anywhere else, such as these Platinum Koalas that I got for a very good deal. And they usually take care of their customers, so to speak. So their customer service is phenomenal. It's second to none, in my opinion. I have had to call them before and uh, sort things out once or twice. And I've been able to do that no problem. They definitely take care of their customers. And a lot of times they send you, especially when you buy random lots, a lot of times they send you stuff you weren't even expecting, which is also a nice little treat. I purchased these two Platinum Koalas and they sent me a proof and a Brilliant Uncirculated when I really only purchased Brilliant Uncirculated. So you never know what you're going to get with, with that max and you always could get something really special, especially on those random buys. Now, as far as their high premiums, that is true for Atmex, but sometimes you can get lucky with their website as well. For example, these Platinum Proof Eagles I bought for $287 each, which I've never seen quarter ounce Platinum Eagles for that low of price anywhere in a long time, if ever. Um, I don't know if it was a mistake on their part, but they held true and they sent me the Platinum Eagles. And these are all proofs. Now I bought these random year capsule only, so that is one caveat to my purchase, but it was still such a low cost that even if I bought regular BU Platinum Eagles, they wouldn't have cost as little as these did. So I definitely scored big time there. I also picked up and got lucky with my Platinum Queen's Beast Unicorn. This is a very rare coin that does not come on the market very often and is not very easy to find, but they did have it for sale and they had it for a very reasonable premium considering at the time this was purchased. So that is another bonus as well, is sometimes you can find unique pieces and you can find them not only at Atmex, but at a price that is much lower than anybody else on the secondhand market, especially for coins that are no longer released. Sometimes you can get lucky and find Unique pieces at good deals on Atmex, but their premiums typically are much higher, so that is one downside to Atmex. Now, the second dealer I'm going to talk about is SD Bullion. And there's a couple reasons why I like SD Bullion for buying platinum. Number one, they almost always have the lowest premium of any online dealer. Yes, sometimes other dealers will have lower premium sales, things of that nature, but in general, SD Bullion will be the lowest. And the, the best thing about them is they love selling these one gram bars. It's, it's usually these pamps in these little essays, but sometimes other things. But they love selling these one gram bars at lower premiums than anywhere else online. So if you are someone who likes to pick up small pieces of platinum at a time, they are definitely your go-to for these little one gram pamps in essays. They also have a category on their one ounce coins which is listed as being a random one ounce coin. When I made the purchase the one time I did, they sent me a 2020 Platinum Eagle. It doesn't get much better than that on random when you just kind of roll the dice. 
So that is really cool in my opinion. And the one ounce platinum coin at the time, it was listed as random, but they sent me an eagle. That does not mean they're going to send you an eagle, but an ounce of platinum is an ounce of platinum. And that that one ounce random platinum ounce category that they have, they constantly have that for sale. They constantly have that in stock. And a lot of times they put it on sale and the premiums are just unbeatable when they do. Now, sometimes it is listed as a higher premium than if you were to buy an actual one ounce coin that you chose. And sometimes their premium is higher than other dealers, but when it goes on sale and it does very often, it is usually the lowest premium for a one ounce platinum coin. So I love that category. I love that it's been around for a while and anytime it goes out of stock, it always comes back in stock. It's not one of those things where it goes out of stock and you almost never see it again. It goes out of stock and then it comes back in stock. I don't know if SD Bullion is just kind of lazy and that's not being mean, but so often I see that random one ounce coin selection come up and all of their other coins are out of stock. And I'm like, I almost get the feeling that they just get one ounce coins in and they just don't want to list each coin individually. So they just put them in a big pile and uh, just put it under the random one ounce coin. So you kind of roll the dice with them, but any one ounce platinum coin is really you can't really go wrong with any of the one ounce coins. If you go for a Maple, a Philharmonic, it, whatever you get, it's going to be worth your money in my opinion. But it's pretty cool that you can get an Eagle. So I wanted to mention SD Bullion. So they have the lowest premiums on one ounces and they have the lowest premium on gram bars. Now the variety is very much lacking. They are not like Atmax. Atmax holds king category in that category. But SD Bullion is great for premiums and great for overall keeping that number low as to what you're spending. And it's great that they have low premiums on their small pieces like this one gram bar and they have low premiums on their one ounce coins if you go for the random category. But also many times when they have 2020 Eagles and things of that nature, they also are very low premiums as well. Now, the third dealer slash place I pick up platinum that I want to mention is Reddit. Now, I know tons of people are sketched out by buying from random people online. I totally get that. And if that's not your cup of tea, I definitely suggest you going with either SD or Atmex as far as platinum. Atmex is going to have a lot of variety. SD is going to be the best premiums or the lowest premiums. So whichever category you fall into, whether you like picking up small pieces of platinum over time, large pieces, and paying low premiums, go with SD. If you like unique and random pieces, go with Atmex because they have a lot of uniqueness. Reddit, on the other hand, I have had extremely good experience with purchasing on there. Um, the Reddit forum I am specifically talking about is a Reddit forum known as PMs for Sale. So in PMs for Sale, uh, people can list their precious metals that they have for sale, and they can list the uh, payment method that they prefer. It could be PayPal, Zelle, Venmo, usually things of that nature. Some people like to exchange cryptocurrency for precious metals. I'm not in the cryptocurrency game, so I never really take up people on those deals, but they, there are some individuals who will take that as a form of payment. Now, these two pieces specifically I have picked up on Reddit. That is this one-tenth ounce Platinum Noble. I picked up for 135, which is better than any online dealer for a one-tenth ounce coin, and a Platinum Noble, in my opinion, is very scarce, at least at the current time. It's very hard to find this coin and so this was an epic pickup. And if you saw my recent video on this, you know how excited I am about having this and how much I love this coin. Now, this one, one ounce maple coin I also picked up on Reddit long, long, long time ago. And this was my first actual full ounce of platinum. Now, um, one thing I want to talk about Reddit is they have a feedback system in place. So what I mean by that is you can look at seller's feedback on Reddit, almost like you would on eBay or Amazon or something of that nature. They have a feedback, feedback set up in place and they have moderators that moderate the forums and pretty much if you get a negative feedback, you're pretty much banned from the forum. Now, yes, somebody can make a new account, but they will have no feedback attached to that new account. So then you can use your own 
wisdom and and smarts to say, hey, I'm not going to buy from someone who doesn't have feedback. So anytime I make a purchase on Reddit, I always check their feedback. And I not only look at their feedback, but a lot of times I look at the specific comments that other people left in regards to their feedback. And I am familiar with some of the more well-known users on Reddit and PMs for sale. And if they leave feedback on a buyer or seller or they are somehow attached to creating a transaction with those individuals, I know that I can feel a lot more comfortable about buying from that individual. Now, if someone doesn't have feedback, I may or may not just completely pass up on the deal. If I do decide to go with the deal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them first ship me the coin. I'm going to get it verified uh, probably by my local coin shop. And then I will send them the money once I can verify that what they are send me, sending me is an authentic piece. So that is the way I kind of protect myself on Reddit. I have not run into any issues whatsoever on Reddit buying precious metals. I bought and sold a lot of precious metals on that forum, gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, and so I have a lot of experience using that website. If that's not your cup of tea, like I said, SD Bullion and Atmex are two great options. Great, great options. And those are the two dealers that I highly recommend the most as far as buying platinum from. Now, you can buy platinum from almost any precious metal dealer. Some of them run out and then they don't get any in stock for a while. So some of them aren't actually the most reliable source in regards to platinum. But overall, SD Bullion and Atmex are going to get you taken care of. No, no questions at all. And I've actually dealt with SD Bullion's customer service as well. In fact, when I bought this coin... Uh, there was an issue, I can't remember what it was, something to do with, I, I wrote an e-check on the wrong account or something, and it ended up uh, not going through, and I thought for sure they would charge me like a fee or something. And I called them up, I said, hey, I made this mistake, let's just go ahead and run it through another account, and they had no problem with that. They, they went ahead and did that for me, and they took care of me, and they didn't charge me any fee, and everything was hunky-dory. And the same thing with Atmex. There was one issue where I wanted to add something to uh, an already existing order that I had placed uh, to get the free shipping, and they canceled my order and let me replace it. Again, no fee whatsoever. As long Now, I would say as long as you call, I would highly suggest calling if you do have any issues with either of these dealers, because when you speak to someone, they are more likely to get you taken care of because they are both in the business of making money and they also want to make their customers happy. And SD Bullion and Atmex are both one of the highest ranked precious metals dealers out there. I know there's a whole lot and I know everyone has an opinion about each one and everyone has a favorite one, but those two are my favorite actual dealers while Reddit is my favorite place to pick up lower premium stuff, usually from private individuals and there are many outlets that I can use to make sure that I'm what I'm getting is an authentic piece of metal. So with all that being said, guys, I appreciate y'all coming by and checking out my video of my top three favorite places to pick up platinum. Be sure to check out my other videos. I have a lot of videos talking about platinum and other precious metals. Thank you to all my loyal followers. Thank you to any new people to the channel. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And with all that being said, guys, until next time, we will see you.